right, guys, it's Saturday. It's been a long freaking week. I'm tired. I thought I'd do something different today. Um, just something odd. Just keep my brain off of what I need to be doing. Uh, I picked up a bunch of these at the uh, scrapyard. And if you don't know what they are, they're part of a sickle bar mower. Uh, I don't know what you call them. The guides, probably. Or, or uh, yeah, it's probably the guide and teeth. But uh, I just did a spark test on these. I've never seen these, you know, used to be a farm boy. Uh, never seen these bend. I think I've seen them break. Uh, they seem. I think there's some decent steel in here, so I want to give this a try. I just did a spark test and it proved to be, it looked good, but you can't go by much by that. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, so we're going to do one of these. Let's see what happens as we work on it. So, what can we turn this into? All right, I think what I decided to do first is just go ahead and nip off the two ends of these and maybe have two different pieces to work with when I get done. So we're just going to nip this off if I can. down in there enough. Come on. Well, I'm not liking the way that looks. I was hoping she'd nip a little easier than that, but shit, I ain't doing it. I'm gonna go to the grinder. I'm not gonna waste time with this because if I leave a tail or anything on there, we're gonna be sorry. So let me go ahead and cool this down. Again, my, my point is I'm gonna zip these two ends off and uh, just see what happens from there. I have no clue yet what I'm gonna do. I nip these three pieces off, what a pain in the ass trying to cut stuff, stuff when it's hot. That there looks like a weapon in itself all ready to go, but we're going to move that off to the side. We're not going to work with that one. And again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these pieces. I'm going to try to consolidate them. I'm not sure the way this piece is here. I should just nip that sucker off probably. But let's see if we can unfold it. Let's try unfolding it, that first, and that might point me in the right direction as to where to go next. Let's see what we can do about maybe opening this up a little. I see a fracture causing there and I just burnt this piece. So I may not be able to recover that. That sucks. Uh, maybe I don't see what I think I see. I just saw ugly. Eh, we might be able to recover. Let me go ahead and see what we can get out of this. Actually, let me do the other one. Because I did let that one get too hot. Just to make sure I don't walk down some path and you and I cry at the end of this video. For stupidity, anyway. Alright, let's see if this one gives me the same effect. If it does, I'll go back. I have several of these. And, uh,. If it doesn't, if it looks like I burnt that other one too badly, then I'll come back. Actually, it's too bad right here. With another piece from another one of these. I have a bunch of them. But I'll tell you, it doesn't look any different there than this one does. Here. So I'm going to continue that. I think we're okay. I didn't get. It was just starting to get a little toasty. So I got a lot of crazy stuff happening here. Well, let's see if we can flatten that out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this consolidated. I can always nip that off if I'm not happy with what's going on out there. But at this point, it doesn't look horrible. Doesn't look too horrible at this point. Kind of hopey, that's for sure. Hold in this end. All right, let's just say we're happy with that. Now the next thing that I got to decide is over here. Um, this raised ridge that's on both of these. Should I nip that off, or should I uh, try to, to push that back in? I'm afraid it's going to fold. So let me just give it a try. If it doesn't fold, we'll, we'll, we'll squeeze back together. Uh, if it starts to fold over, then we'll nip it off. Alright, let's see what we end up with here. It isn't horrible, it isn't great though. We'll rework it back. Round it off. Yeah, we're rolling. I got a, I got a lot of it back there. I'll let that cool and I'll just grind that off. I'll do the same thing over here on this one. 
And it's just that it's too risky of a piece to mess with. I don't think I'm gonna regret doing that. It was, it was, it's, not, it's just not worth the risk. Now I'm gonna get this, this material kind of uh, upset back into itself, just to get a piece of steel that we're gonna start looking at and wonder what we're gonna do with. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do is start working this backwards. I don't want it to roll, so I'm just gonna bring it back. Start playing this way. What I should do is give this stuff a test before I go much farther. Let's see what kind of hardness we get out of it. It's looking pretty good. Uh, what do I have to nip off here? I'm going to go ahead and nip off a piece of this. Draw it out like I normally do. I won't take you this time. You'll see it in lots of my videos uh, uh, through the process. But I'll show you what it looks like once it's hardened. All right, I'll just show you the things that happen when I try to do this. Um, I just uh, force that piece down. <clears throat> I'm not doing any, I, I, I didn't harden it, sorry. I've got three things on my brain right now. So which, it should bend, right? Right? So that's good. So we know in an annealed state, she's soft. Now I'll harden it. All right, I'm just in uh, oil. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna be pleased with this. I'm going to go in a different spot, a little lower end. And last time, we'll probably just use the tongue. I'm sure it'll work. Oh, all right, she was tough, but she broke. With a really, really t fine grain pattern. Tighter than uh, I expected. Um, interesting. A little different pattern around the outside, too. Well, anyway, we know she's going to take a harden, so we can keep going. All right, so here's where I am so far. Uh, the two pieces that I've forged out, all of this crap down here at the end, I'd like to save it, but it's just too risky. I'm going to nip both of these pieces off, try to upset these so I can end up with, and then nip that ring off, I guess. Uh, see if I can get this into an uh, even rectangle in length, and then we'll try to forge weld those two together and see what we end up with. Let's see what we can do about getting a little of this steel moved back. Trying to get an equal width, equal rectangle out of it. That's not too bad at all right there. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. All right, do the other one. Again, that's what we started with. Yeah. All right, it's a little narrower on this end. So we're trying to fix. We're just as lucky this time around. Basically two rectangles that we can size up so they're this well they're pretty damn close aren't they size up they're very close all right I'm just gonna clean them up just get rid of the hammer marks so I can grind them and clean them well we'll see if we can forge weld those together or let me think for a second I was gonna I was thinking of introducing some other steel so we end up with an actual pattern that we can see but. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I have no idea what this steel is and if I go ahead and mix it with something else, it may or may not be compatible. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, clean these pieces up, get them flat, grind them up, and uh, come back for forge welding. All right, we cleaned her up well. It's a little longer than the other. That's fine for me, I believe. And we'll just go ahead and, and uh, put a handle on this. Weld these two together, tack up both ends, and uh, put a handle on it. 
All right, I cut off the end so now they're both the same size. Welding them up. Let's get some heat, some flux on this baby. All right, slowly bring her up to temperature, just hot enough to get this flux well uh, to melt on here. Get in between the two. That's all we need is the cracks. Let it soak right down in there so we don't get any oxidation on that. Tighten up our pieces a little bit. Like that. You can see that nice, nice encapsulation that that flux is causing. Alright, now we'll bring it up very slowly so that the entire piece is heated all the way through. Take your time. I was just thinking as this piece is coming up, I'd like to use that four pounder because it's a wide, hit, wide uh, face on it. <clears throat> and it's flat and I'm, I'm thinking all this uh, John Norwood hammer would be perfect for that because so, I like a little lighter hammer faster hits uh oh we're getting a little too hot here and I should be able to go right down through there with that flat uh, and not be doing anything but merging the two pieces of steel together we are just about up to temperature so here we go I get my orientation right and go Just like that. Two and a half pound hammer from John. And again, that's what I wanted. I wanted that flat because my three pound is a little round. That's perfect. I mean, it looks beautiful. We were able to get down through there, I'm sure, with enough time. We'll do that three times. Alright, number two. Orientation and go. It looks good. We'll do one more for good measure. One more for good measure. Let's throw that last one in. I'm going to let this cool down. I'm going to grind off those edges and then we'll try something new with this. Alright, so I ground off the edges where the two pieces came together. It looks good. I don't see much going on there. So hopefully we got a good weld out of it. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, just for fun, since we're just kind of letting our mind rest for a while. Is I'm going to go ahead and uh, round this off, put it in the vise, and put a twist on it. That should do at least something funky with the pattern. I'm not going to fold or anything. I'm not going to do anything crazy. We'll see what happens there. That way the split isn't right down the middle. If I make this into a blade, uh, it'll be a spiral around. Right, I'm going to try to work this as close to four as well in temperature as I can. But like I said, what I want to do is round this off. So we'll hexagon it first. We should be testing the hell out of those well, that weld in there, that's for sure. Come back. Like I, said, I, want to, I want to have work pretty damn hot right now. I don't trust everything. I'm going to work on a little bit more on the round here. Gotta be perfectly round, but I don't want to put a bunch of lines in the piece when I twist it. And it should be doing something to that pattern in there with all these the movement that I'm causing. One more heat for rounding. Alright, yeah. Alrighty. children. I guess I am. That's fine. 
That's fine. I can deal with that. Uh, these for Tom's. So we're gonna heat this up. Let's put a couple twists on it. that's straight enough out here. Right. Grab a little bit. All right. Heat her up. All right. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a round out of this thing. I don't know who's calling me. Two people around here. Twist a little more on the top. We didn't get much of a twist up there. We got a twist in the middle. We just heat the ends and see if we can get twist on the ends here too. Hopefully, I didn't put too many ridges in in that process that I can't hammer out. If I did. They should be on the outside, right? Okay. Good little twist down there. I like more on both ends, so let me just come back and I'll just heat one end and twist it. Let's see if we can get a little more isolated twist. I don't know these white clips. This one, this one we didn't straighten. Come on. There we go. We're getting a twist in the right spot there. Close enough anyway. Oh, come on. Give me a bite. No, I ain't going no farther than that. More a little twist would be great, please. There it is. Come on, tighten up. Alright, well, we got more than we had down there. I'm gonna do the other end. Let's get this down here. I should actually put that in first. Let's see if we can get something up here a little further. Don't stop. Damn you. I'm not gonna give up. I want a twist up there. Let's stick that in. Then. Since there's a flat on there, hopefully we got enough to bite. Let's see if we need to get a hold of this sucker. Oh, I need a bite too. Dirty little pricks. Twist till you don't twist anymore. Anyway. What a crock of shit this is. Well, we tried. We tried. That's how we're on it yet. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. I know that vice needs to be something. I don't know why it's. A problem. Damn, there's just, it's so good down here and then there's nothing up here. Why is that such a difficult thing for me? I'm trying it again. I'll be back when I'm done. All right, I got something that resembles a twist down on this end now. I'm going to go to the grinder now. I don't, there's no way I'm going to be able to hammer these marks uh, without getting them in, uh, into the steel. So I'm just going to grind. It might not be a pretty grind, but try to get those ground out so that when I flatten this out, um, they uh, they won't roll over a kink. So let me cool this down and I'll be back once that's done. All right, that was painful of being the big dummy I am. I'm not sure what else to do. So hopefully when I fl you know flatten this this thing down, it's going to uh, none of those things will, will be inside the blade or even on the outside of the blade. So what we're gonna do now is just gonna clean this up and I'm gonna try to upset it. I I want a thicker piece when I get done. So I, you know it seems like I kind of worked myself into it. A pickle but hey that's how it goes sometimes so let's clean it up and then see if we can get this thing back to something a little thicker all righty 
again just to get things in some type of uniform state. see a spiral going around there. Wouldn't that be cool if this well didn't take? I still see spiral shunting going on. Oh boy, that looks scary. That'd be about as good as my day gets right there. I don't even see, it, see those lines? They shouldn't be there now. Unless I folded them over, you know what I mean? Oh crap, Chandler. It could be a complete failure of the well, perhaps. It just looks scary. Now well, let me see how deep they go. Alright, so I went at it with the grinder and until I couldn't see the line anymore, that doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot. Did I miss one? Yeah, there's one more I'm gonna get. We'll go back and heat it up, we'll see what we end up with. I am not extremely confident at the moment. Just kind of square up those grooves that I just put in. And I still want to upset this. I'm just causing myself more grief every time I stretch this thing out farther. But let's just hope. Those are all superficial something somethings. We're going to spend a lot of time upsetting. <laughs> a lot of time upsetting, I'll tell you. Just hope we don't end up upset. Alright. And we'll turn around and we'll start doing the, the upsetting part. It's gonna take a long time. I will work on it for a little while with you and then I will come back when it's done. This ought to be a fun little job. Setting. I did. I was pleased with that, but I've got crap happening all over the place now, and I believe this is going to be a total failure. I just don't know for sure what the hell's going on here. I don't like this huge one here. They did it to do. I don't think that's from the outside. So let's uh, let's forge it in. Let's forge it flat to something. Alrighty, children. Let's see how far we get before we realize we're not. Just like turn this thing out a little bit. Maybe we'll take a break after we go a little ways with it and uh, just clean it up and that you before we destroy it. Maybe we can at least have the enjoyment of what the pattern would have been. Let me just try to fix it. Oh, I dropped a dirty little prick. Seriously, children? I'm going to try to hit this one at uh, Ford Welding Temps and if anything. This is one that's got that one big groove in it. And it's, I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think anything good is going to come out of it, but it ain't going to hurt.
that dog leg. Well, the groove didn't grow. That's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. It didn't really grow. Yeah, we'll go a little farther with it. other side they're the same thickness. I'll work this one pretty hard too. Alright, get a little bit of thickness there. Start uh, cleaning up that edge. Like I said, I'll turn it into a rectangle and uh, We'll just grind it up a little bit, see what it looks like. before I go any farther with it. I'm shocked that I'm not seeing, oh, open your mouth too soon. I'm shocked I'm not seeing anything that scares me worse than, than that. Little notch right there. See right there. But uh, let me, uh, I'll, I'll let this cool down and we'll, we'll throw a grind on it, throw it in the edge, at least give you a chance to see something before we go farther. All right, I just did a quick grind on it. And I'm a little surprised, um, with the exception of this one spot here. I don't see anything jumping out at me that's like, holy cow, Chandler, oh, there's a little one here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, I'm a little, little baffled, but let me atch it so we can see what it looks like. Alright, I don't know, about five, ten minutes in the, in the acid. And I don't see much of a pattern at all. There's a little bit of a tiger stripe going on, so... That's kind of what we were going for. Um, although I didn't know for sure what was going to happen, but a little, I don't know if you can see it or not. A little tiger striping down through there. Now I don't see, again, any other cracks besides this one right here. I wonder if I should just grind that sucker out now before it jumps back to haunt me. And this little nick down here. I think I'm going to do that and we'll forge this into something and see if it stays together. Um, I'm going to go for an integrated handle, a um, little kitchen knife. Alrighty, let's see what we end up with now. Just kind of give ourselves a little more width here. Length. I'm not going to forge the bevel in. We'll let the pattern show itself. Start working on that point. Start bringing that point down a little. Down 
trying to figure out what I want here for tangage. I'm just going to bring it up a little. That'll give me a little length again. I want this to be like, it's going to be a small knife. Um, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to come back a little bit more here. Pull out a little bit more back here. Just give myself a bit more. Drop my tang right in that spot. I think on the next heat. That's the plan, Stan. Right, let's drop that thing. Let's see right about there. I like it. I like it. I think it'll be good. Turn around, we'll drop the rest of that tang. Alright, now we're gonna drop this. Try not to let it roll, because I don't want to pour it out. I want it to be in the integral, integrated. We're forging small. I'm okay with that. So for this part here, now you can see, yeah, you can see it in there. Where this center, right? Because it rolled up. It didn't roll, but it bulged a little. Now that center has hammer marks in there. We need to get rid of that because that's just a grinding nightmare. Alright. Clean the sucker up because we don't want anything else attributing to it. Try to run this rounder right down through the center here. Smooth those out. Back with this guy. Make everybody happy again. Happy, happy. I almost want a hole on the end there so I can hang it with my other knife. Oh, are we going to punch a hole in that? Maybe we'll drill one. I won't punch, I'll drill. Alright, that's good for this. Let's turn this blade around. Let's see what we got going on here. So we'll... Yeah, give it more of a kitchen kind of swirl to it. Pull this corner out, I always do, otherwise it's going to come back on me. Again, I'm not really trying to forge a bevel on there. I want to grind that in. If there's going to be any pattern exposed, it'll be exposed when I do that. They're a little thicker there than we need to be. One little mark that I ground out is in there. Hmm. I'm just going to drop this spine a little. Hopefully. Just start working out that little mark that didn't, it almost did it right there. Not bad at all. Alrighty, get 
folks get the bills. Spend a little more time on this point. we're thicker than we need to be right in this area so I can pull a little more blade out there. Like I said, I'm not going for a taper. I do have some room to play right here. That'll help belly my knife a little more too. So I'm just going to heat the whole blade, get that where I want it to be. So let's wrap this up. I just want to... Yep, straighten that back. Put the curve in up front. Alright, we go ahead and... punch a hole in the handle so I can hang it instead of drilling. I swear I got a punch with a longer taper on it than that, but I guess that's what we're going to use. So we've got a little smaller plug out of it. Oops, wrong hammer, but too late now, Chandler. this out a little bit. Just to give me a little bigger hole. It's almost gone anyway. Did you do? I suppose we could be using some easier times. Alright, hopefully I didn't get out of whack. I looked over to hit record and you were already recording. We're just going to drift that out a little bit.
this inside, so we'll jump through there for a couple of shots. to roll over from when I punched and there is no way to get that one out of there. She going nowhere. Character. That's character. Alright, let's see if we can just get a little bit more. Picky on a friggin' hole at the end of the night, Jenna. And we'll true her up. Chuck. That side. True her up from this side. I think that's as far as we'll take it. And we'll just Get this tang back to where it needs to be. I guess it's not a tang, it's a handle now. And we'll just put the final tweaks out of here. Open it up, store it not too much. And do 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 do. God, it looks like clean hammering to me until you hit the grinder. Alrighty, I'm happy with it. Happy enough. Well, um, I'm going to kneel this twice. Bring it up till temperature and then black and up and black. That's what I call, not, not anneal, normalize. That's what I call normalizing. Alright, normally I freehand my, uh, my blades, but this one, because I had so much to grind off, I used one of my, my wooden jigs. And obviously too steep, I would say, of a of an angle, and I lost a lot of knife. It's still a great knife; it gets exactly what I was looking for, but it isn't um, nearly as is uh, kitcheny as I thought it was going to be. But uh, anyway, and it went way thin. So we're going to learn a lesson here. Uh, I don't, again, I don't use the jigs much, but I really need to start doing that so that uh, I can turn out a knife a little more quicker than I do now. Let's. Uh, um, harden the sucker. Let's see what we got. It's a pretty knife, it really is. It just it wasn't what I was going for. I lost a lot of meat here. Alright, I don't have a lot of time to play, so I'm going to turn you guys on early and you can just sit there and stare into space for a while. Because this blade is probably the thinnest blade I've ever tried to quench. I'm really worried about it. Cracking and warping. Let's give her a go. Looks good, looks good. In you go. Be pretty nice. You see it? 200,000 layers in there. And that's a fact. It's a pretty one. This one is pretty sharp, too. When we get done with it, it might be the sharpest knife I've done. Alright. No, uh, no workage. And I'm just hitting this corner here. That's why you hear it. Yeah, this thing is just hard as hard can be. Holy crap. All right. I like it. Let's get her cleaned up and tempered up. This is right out, right out of the quench. And this thing is almost sharp enough to cut paper. <laughs> oh, I've never had an edge that, that, that um, smooth before or, or fine before. But All right, we'll get back to work, channel. You can see my tempers. Let that soak for a minute. I haven't locked anything in yet, but 
we're going to keep her relatively hard on that edge. It's going to be one sharp freaking knife. I think I want a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Let's shot you guys again. So that that gold, there we go, yeah, we got gold coming down in, closer to that tip, closer to that edge. That's what I'm looking for, folks, so, alrighty. Alright, we got it ground down, I didn't put the uh, final edge on, clean the handle up too, because I forgot this should have a pattern on it, I was going to leave just the, um, the, um, the quenching color in. But uh, we clean it up. I went down to 300. There's lines in there. I'm not... I make good knives. The knives I make are good. I just... They're not, they're not pretty. That's the problem. But anyway, we're going to drop this into the acid. And let's see. I hope we get something a little cooler than we got last time. Why is this short now? Did we make it? Oh, yeah. I had the blocking last time. So uh, I'm not sure what we're going to end up with. But we'll quench... We'll do... We'll just, I'll just keep flipping it over and over and we'll see what we end up with. Hopefully we get something pretty cool. Alright, right out of the etch. Very, very cool. Very cool to need. This one's perfect. It's like a spiral. Focus. Let me see. One, two, and there's another one up here. My grind marks are kind of blocking it from me. Very, very cool. For a single steel pattern, I think it is. And it's a nice plain, plain pattern. Very cool. All right, I'm going to etch uh, the logo on there, and I'll put the final edge on, and we'll see how sharp this thing really turns out to be. And there you have it. Very, very pleased. And that came out of this, <clears throat> believe it or not. Do, 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 do. Money shot, money shot, money shot. Anyway, take a look. Come on, focus, you son of a bitch. Can you see the pattern? It's freaking a crisis. The best pattern ever. Yeah. All right. Stripe, stripe, stripe. One there, one there, one there, one there. Very, very cool. I wish you could see it. I can't see it with my glasses. Maybe you guys can see it, and I just can't see the camera. This side isn't as is, um, structured. It's a little more wavy. All right. Very, very cool. <clears throat> In the end, it wasn't as beefy a knife as I thought it was going to be, but it's probably, I mean, it's pretty. It's, it's exactly what I'm looking for. And it's probably one of the sharpest knives that I've ever made. I mean, this is... It's just crazy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. And that's just off the grinder, right? I don't even go to a honing stone. 600 grit. I use 600 grit. And uh, this is as sharp as I need, that's for sure. But anyway, it turned out to be a little longer project. Which ones aren't? Hope you enjoyed it. All right, there it is. I wish I could get you a shot where there was a pattern showing. But there you go. Anyway, get your knife out of mowing. What did he, what did he say we called those? Mowing uh, guides, teeth, something like that. Hope you enjoyed it. Man, I love this pattern on this side. I just wish you could see it as well as I could. Ooh, that's not bad right there. Very, very cool. It's very, very cool. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for our support, and we'll try to keep making them. Take care. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right hand side of the screen called support and it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video and that'll help me make some more, I guarantee. Thanks for your support as always.